When George Lucas created Star Wars, the nerdy independent filmmaker had no idea it would turn into one of the most popular film franchises of all time. But more than four billion in box office receipts and counting, the series has been nothing if not lucrative. And the actors that contributed to his visionary universe? Well, some of these stars aren't exactly rolling in the dough, despite playing key roles in the hugely successful sci-fi films. Daisy Ridley as the fledgling Jedi Rey, actress Daisy Ridley is the star of the new Star Wars trilogy, which first captivated audiences with The Force Awakens and took the franchise to new heights with The Last Jedi. And if you take a quick stroll down any toy aisle, it's almost impossible to avoid Ridley's character or her lightsaber-wielding battle poses. Even though she's undoubtedly the anchor for a trilogy that reinvigorated Lucas's 40-year-old universe, according to Celebrity Net Worth, Ridley is worth only $6 million. That seems crazy low, especially when you consider that actress Felicity Jones was reportedly paid a seven-figure salary up front just for playing rebel fighter Jin Erso in Rogue One. May the Force be with Ridley on the next round of salary negotiations. John Boyega Another vital character of the new trilogy, John Boyega's Finn has brought a sense of wonder and humor to the Force. Boyega has been able to channel his newfound fame to land prestigious new projects, like the starring role in Pacific Rim Uprising. But he still isn't quite raking in the big bucks just yet. The British star is reportedly worth just $6 million, even after securing a prominent place in one of the biggest movie franchises of all time and leveraging that experience into other leading roles. Adam Driver when girls actor Adam Driver was picked to play the Vader-like villain in The Force Awakens, it seemed like an odd choice. But Driver delivered as the tormented Kylo Ren, and his hooded mask and unusual lightsaber have become synonymous with Star Wars. You'd think being a new generation's version of Darth Vader and an HBO star would come with a sizable fortune. Think again. Driver's net worth is said to be just $8 million, even though you'd be hard-pressed to find a young Star Wars fan who doesn't have a Kylo Ren lightsaber at the ready. Gwendolyn Christie Actress Gwendolyn Christie was already known to fans for her portrayal of Brienne of Tarth on the hit HBO series Game of Thrones. So when it was announced that Christie would play the mysterious silver stormtrooper, Captain Phasma, her geek credentials were already well established. But despite playing a sizable role on the massively popular Game of Thrones and a bankable villain in the new Star Wars trilogy, Christie's net worth reportedly rings in at just $3 million. Lupita Nyong'o If you didn't realize Lupita Nyong'o is in The Force Awakens, don't feel bad. She plays the entirely CGI character Maz Kanata, a spiritual successor to Yoda for the new trilogy. Nyong'o also has the distinction of pulling double duty for Disney by starring in the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Black Panther. However, having huge roles in both the House of Mouse's blockbuster franchises doesn't necessarily mean a huge payday. Nyong'o has a reported net worth of just $5 million, which is a drop in the bucket by Hollywood A-list standards. That said, this talented young actress's bottom line will likely keep climbing as the Oscar winner continues to take over Tinseltown. Anthony Daniels for 40 years, Anthony Daniels has played the iconic golden droid C-3PO, as well as voiced the character in radio shows, video games, and cartoons. One would assume that four decades as one of the most recognizable robots in sci-fi history would mean big bucks for Daniels. Alas, the actor is worth only $8 million. That's nothing to sneeze at, but by comparison, the late Carrie Fisher, who played Princess Leia, was worth an estimated $25 million. Then again, when it comes to being an absolute boss in space, you can't beat Princess Leia. Diego Luna When Rogue One debuted in 2016, fans were bowled over by the prequel film's original narrative and heavy servings of old-fashioned Star Wars nostalgia. It was a critical success for Disney, but many of the film's stars aren't rolling in the revenue. Mexican actor Diego Luna, who's been working professionally since his teens, has a net worth of just $4 million, and he was reportedly paid in the low six-figure range to star in Rogue One as Cassian Andor. That's a little shocking, considering Cassian is easily the second most important character after Felicity Jones' Jyn Erso. Ben Mendelsohn Australian actor Ben Mendelsohn has been in the business since the early 80s, but even after appearing in The Dark Knight Rises and the Netflix original series Bloodline, Mendelsohn's net worth is just $3 million. His performance as Rogue One's main villain, director Krennic, didn't help much because he was reportedly paid in the low six-figure range. However, Mendelsohn is taking a page out of Nyong'o's book and will play another villainous role in Captain Marvel, another massive Disney franchise, so count on his fortune to improve even more in the very near future. Alan Tudyk The incomparable Alan Tudyk has been appearing in small yet memorable roles in movies since the 90s, and his TV credentials include fan favorites Firefly and Arrested Development. 
Tudyk has also been a voice actor since 2002, which made him the perfect choice to give life to the snarky robot K2SO in Rogue One. However, Tudyk's crazy busy schedule has earned him a net worth of only $2 million, despite decades of credits to his name. Mark Hamill even after all these years, when people think Star Wars, they think Luke Skywalker. As the star of the movies that started it all, you'd assume Mark Hamill's iconic role as the farm boy turned Jedi Knight would be the ticket to a massive fortune. But even after reprising the legendary part in the newest trilogy, Hamill is worth just $18 million. That's a sizable fortune, but it pales in comparison to his original co-stars. Harrison Ford, the actor behind the swashbuckling smuggler Han Solo, is worth $230 million. However, at the end of the day, Hamill will always be Luke Skywalker, and there's no amount of money in the galaxy that can top that. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.